Yeah, Memphis is um, a scary team. Um, any team that can shoot 30% uh, and beat Cincinnati tells you how good they are. Uh, their, their, their athleticism, their size is a big concern for ours because, you know, they're a big team um, and we're a tall team. You know, we have length, but we don't have a lot of uh, size. Um, Shaq Goodwin inside, is, I, I think, is playing as good as any big in our league. Uh, the Lawson kid, 6'9", about 230. You know, he's a kid that's probably going to wind up being a first-round draft choice either this year or next year whenever he decides he wants to go. Um, and then they, they had a guy out that, that uh, they really missed when they lost some of those games, uh, Treshawn Burrell, but he's back now. And that's one of the reasons why they won the other day. I think he had five offensive rebounds from the wing. But for us, you know, it's just a matter of getting back to who we are. I thought we lost our identity a little bit at Tulsa. Um, you know, obviously, we had won the last uh, previous three games, um, Tulsa at home at East Carolina, SMU. But now we've got to get back at it because we've got a, a big week coming up, starting with uh, Memphis um, uh, tomorrow night. Um, so, you know, for us, uh, uh, you know, we've got to get our guys playing to who we are. You know, uh, we don't know if uh, we're going to have Rob Gray or not. That literally may be um, – a shoot around decision. We'll know before the game, obviously, but um, um, you know, he's, he was in here doing some stuff today. Uh, he has not practiced yet. So he's, if he's going to play, he probably needs to practice today. When I say get back to who we are is, uh, you know, the analogy that I, I like to use is a, um, you know, a carpenter going to work every day. You know, he has his toolbox. Inside that toolbox is the things that he needs to do to be successful, whether it's a hammer or a wrench or a screwdriver or tape measure, or whatever. For us in our toolbox, it's offensive rebounding, our, our toughness, our competitiveness, our ball movement. Um, that's something we have to do every day. That's the reason why we've been successful this year. You know, we've, uh, we've run three great road games in this league at East Carolina, uh, at South Florida, and at Temple. We've had some great home wins, uh, SMU, LSU. Uh, but the reason why we've been a good team is for those reasons. And um, when you go play another good team on the road, obviously they have an advantage. Uh, Tulsa's really good at home, um, just as I think we're a really good home team. But, <clears throat> you know, you can't allow success to trick you. You know, success will trick some kids sometime into thinking, it'll make them think they're, that they're better than they actually are. And sometimes you've got to make them sit down and say, listen, son, you know, we're good because of these reasons. And those reasons are what I, I mean about that toolbox. Just look at last weekend. Oklahoma loses at Kansas State. North Carolina loses at Notre Dame. Uh, Cincinnati loses at Memphis. That's college basketball. You know, I've said many times, it's in football. You know, you only play 11 or 10, 11 or 12 games, and if you lose one, you've lost a lot. Uh, and basketball, you haven't really lost a whole lot if you lose a game. Uh, SMU lost to, to us. I don't think they lost their identity when they lost to us. I don't think uh, North, North Carolina will be fine. Oklahoma bounced back last night, and I think we'll bounce back too.